First, you have to set up your audio hardware. In the Options, Preferences menu, the Audio section, you'll choose your audio driver. You may select ASIO for Windows-based computers or the macOS Audio Core. Then, you will set up your sample rate, adjust the pitch and sample rate conversion quality, and the buffer size through the hardware setup. The audio buffer size corresponds to the general latency and can improve the stability of your system. If necessary, you can compensate a possible audio driver error for Ableton Live audio recording. The input configuration lets you set up mono or stereo physical inputs of your audio hardware, and the same for the output configuration. In the MIDI Sync section of the Preferences menu, you will set up the different MIDI interfaces plugged on your system. Three columns, Track, Sync and Remote. Track lets you activate MIDI in or out for MIDI recording or playing on live MIDI tracks. Sync lets you activate MIDI in and out to receive or send a synchro MIDI signal. Live can receive MTC, MIDI timecode, or MIDI clock and only sends MIDI clock sync. Don't forget to click on EXT if you want to be slave from an external sync. Remote let you activate MIDI in and out for MIDI control, assignation, on live or plug-in remote control. You can also configure up to six control surfaces if you got such a device. To create a MIDI clip, two solutions, step-by-step -step or real-time recording. Let's try step-by-step -step first. Drag an instrument on a MIDI track, for example, an impulse from the library. Double-click on an empty slot of the MIDI track and visualize the MIDI edit window. Then adjust the length of the clip and the loop. You can now double click or use the draw mode to create MIDI events. You can adjust the on or off velocity of each event by dragging the velocity markers. Let's try real-time recording now. For this, you'll need a click or a tempo support. Just activate the metronome and adjust the volume. Choose the right MIDI input of the track you want to record on. Verify that the track is armed or record enabled. Then press the REC button of an empty slot. Once your recording is over, press the play button of the new clip and adjust the start and stop markers. Also adjust the loop markers if needed. Now the clip is play looped. With the overdub tool activated, you can add MIDI events to the clip without erasing the first pass. Just stop the clip or the session when you're done.
Now going to edit the clip to quantize or clean MIDI events. Just select the events you want to quantize and press Ctrl U, Command U on Mac. You can find all the functions in the edit menu. Then select your rhythm precision, the amount of quantization and the part of the note you want to edit, start or end. You can now add events as before or erase and deactivate notes if you don't want to delete them. Just right click on one of the selected events and choose the function you want to use. Let's talk about audio clips now. An audio clip is simply a compatible audio file, or a part of it. Just drag and drop the file from the live browser to an empty slot of an audio track. Then, press the play button of the clip to launch it, and the stop button to stop it, exactly as the MIDI clip. For each audio clip, you can easily adjust the volume or the pitch. If warp is activated, pitch and duration are independent. So you can warp an audio clip. It means that you can adjust the duration or the quantization of the audio content of the clip without changing the pitch, or the contrary. Simply activate a marker and move it to the new position of the timeline. First of all, you need to choose the right warp mode for the audio content. Beat refers to the transient of the clip, is more adapted to rhythm or percussion sounds. Tones is adapted to monophonic sounds, for example a saxophone sample. Texture is more adapted to polyphonic or textured sounds, like a pad or a singing voice. Repitch will change the pitch of the warped part of the sound to adjust the duration exactly as a vinyl deck pitch fader. Complex is adapted to whole songs or complex audio. I'm now going to create envelope automations in the audio or MIDI clip. You will find the envelope menu by clicking on the E button in the Clip Edition window. Clip envelopes let you modulate clip, mixer and device parameters within each clip. These parameters are, for example, the volume, transposition and sample offset for the audio clip, the MIDI controllers for MIDI clips only, the mixer volume, pan and sense, or the different function of the devices plugged on the track you are working on. For example, virtual instruments for the MIDI track or any other MIDI or audio plugin. <laughs> 